In the second part of chapter 5, we will discuss two interesting concepts, conflicts of interest and confidentiality. Additionally, we will talk about the Love Canal case study to see that being confidential in certain situations can ruin the lives of people. We begin with trying to identify what is a conflict of interest. Have you heard of it before? What situations for you represent conflicting interests? In the live session, we viewed a summarized video on conflict of interest. A conflict of interest occurs when your benefits and goals do not align with the benefits and goals of your employer or an entity that you should be loyal to. A conflict of interest also arises when you are put in a position where you have to serve two entities that have competing interests. Conflict of interest situations can be dangerous and harmful to a person's career. That is why they must be always avoided by being clear and honest. If you feel you are being put in a conflict of interest inducing situation, state your conflict and avoid the situation altogether. Let us look at some examples of conflict of interest. Let's say you have a startup and a full-time job, both in the same field. This means that your startup may have access to your work's data and deals through you, and this may lead you to do some bad decisions. Another case is when you are in charge of hiring at a company, and a friend or family member applies for a vacancy. If they are unqualified and they don't get hired, this may lead to social troubles and may have you inclined to help them out. It is better to avoid the situation and let someone else interview that individual. The same goes when you have to double check the work of a friend or a relative. You might be tempted to cut them some slack as well. And this is also unacceptable. Another example is owning a company that provides essential goods or services to your employer where you work full time. It isn't hard to argue here that a person might be tempted to improve their profits on both ends. The final example here is receiving money to do work for a company that is a competitor to your full-time employer. This not only poses a question of whom to give an edge to, but also might cost you your job. These were a few of many examples on conflict of interest. What examples can you think of? Write them down in the comments below. From conflict of interest, we move on to confidentiality, a topic that you might have heard of, especially in movies. What is confidentiality to you? And what are your experiences with it? Information that you gain through your work is generally confidential. That is why it is highly expected of you, as a professional, to keep it secret and to yourself. Giving out this information with no cause is considered an abuse of confidentiality and may leave a smear on your career. Another way to abuse confidentiality is when you know that your company has participated in something harmful to the public, but refuse to give information to the authorities. Remember, an engineer always prioritizes the safety of the public. The case study for this video is the Love Canal case. Love Canal is a neighborhood in Niagara Falls, New York. In the 1940s, a chemical company used a space of the neighborhood as a landfill. And it dumped dangerous chemicals into it. This has led to harming the citizens of this area with a barrage of health issues and diseases. Were the employees of this company right to keep the doings of their company confidential? Check out the details of the story in the link that is found in the description below. And give your answers in the comments. With the Love Canal case, we have reached the end of chapter 5, where we have discussed honesty and dishonesty, conflicts of interest, and confidentiality. In the next chapter, we're going to talk about risk in engineering. So stay tuned and see you then.